Hey, I'm Brian Slasher Suits. What's going on, dudes? Are right, today we're covering Wonder Woman, 1984 Wonder Woman. Well, not from 1984. 1984 in 2020 Wonder Woman. Like the setting is 1984. Like, check out this scene when she's like stopping these robbers inside of a mall. Malls don't exist in 2020. That's how you know it's 1984. And she's super strong and squashing guns, not really killing anybody either, right? You know, she's just capturing criminals and handing them over to the cops. You know, but when Wonder Woman's on screen, it's pretty good. One hour later. Dude, what the hell happened? Like, you don't see Wonder Woman even dress up and fighting anybody for an hour of the movie. An hour of runtime. We're just waiting to see Wonder Woman fight anybody again. They brought back Chris Pine, which is pretty cool. So it's basically like a genie monkey paw thing. Like, if you wish for something, it'll make it true, but it'll take something away. So she gets Chris Pine back, but then she's a little bit, like, underpowered in this. Because look at this shit, dude. She gets shot. She's for the most part bullet like resistant not as bulletproof as like Superman Superman doesn't even have to dodge bullets She usually like gets in on their uh, bracelets and everything But I guess that's what she sacrificed for having Chris Pine back So you get Chris Pine back you lose like half your powers you get a little bit like underpowered a bit that's the whole plot of this movie. She's basically sacrificing like half of her powers for the love of Chris Pine in her life, right? Or that dude actually wished for himself to become a genie. So that's sort of cheap. That's like everybody. What would you wish for if you had a wish? Like three wishes. More wishes. And look at this dude. She's sort of weak. She can't even leg press that truck. Come on, man. I know. It's sort of like COVID. She has to hit the gym in a bit, right? That wish dreamstone stuff is fucking her powers up. Plus, it's making her a bit clumsy. Like, when does she ever, like, lose her grip on her lasso, right? Get some rope burn and then almost get run over by a truck and everything? Come on, Wonder Woman, get your shit together. I think they're purposely trying to show you that she's not killing people, right? Because, look, she lassos this dude and throws him. You're like, wow, he's dead. Oh, wait, he just sort of fell like 30 feet she could have literally throw him like across the whole desert and he would have definitely died so who knows or those guys in that truck could have definitely died but you know she's not overtly trying to kill anybody they should go really radar with her then we have our like our second dry spell in the movie not quite an hour but probably like 27 minutes while they're still explaining stuff you see look that White House fight is pretty cool. Instead of getting like shot in the bracelet, she found out like she'll deflect a lot of bullets with the, the lasso. And Chris Pine is there, but you're not really doing much. You're more or less getting in the way of her. Oh, damn, look at that. This guy's straight up shooting her like point blank range. He deflected a couple of those bullets, but I don't know, man. It, it seemed like they hurt her a bit. But look at this, dude. She can shoot you by deflecting a bullet at, like, high speed. It's almost like shooting the bullet herself. Right? The cheetah shows up. Kristen Wiig. Like, she was a dork all, like, the very first hour or something in the movie until she got powers. And then she got, like, super hot. Oh, I dig her look. She's, like, little punk rock. Oh, I love it. To me, this is the best fight, because look, Kristen Wiig is like, all right, I'm about to kill this dude until Wonder Woman comes through, and <laughs> Kristen Wiig is throwing her around and going through her defenses, like she's a bit, a little bit too strong for Wonder Woman at this point. It's a really good little uh, fist fight, little cool cat fight, and she's even throwing her with her own lasso. So, since she was so weak and she needed to be like at full strength to defeat Kristen Wiig, she needed to wish away Chris Pine. So, you might consider him dead, but it's like Pet Cemetery dead. We brought you back to life, but it's sort of fucked up, it's unnatural, and you should be alive. So, Pet Cemetery, you should go back to being dead. Right? Sometimes dead is better, and that fool's been dead for like 40 years anyway. And to me, Wonder Woman at full strength, that's no competition at all. This little Cheeto girl and everything. So get ready to fight for the death and an upgraded suit. She should take out this Cheeto, no problem. 
But she doesn't kill either of those villains. She just has like a fist fight with Kristen Wiig, who looks like uh, cats from the musical. <laughs> like, I guess that's what Cheetah's supposed to be. But she's full on cats. Like, I don't know, man. It's a lot of CG. And I prefer their other fight back at the White House, even though she's supposed to be stronger here and take it apart her armor. Like... I don't know, I like seeing like two regular people face each other. Like Superman and General Zod had a really good fight in Man of Steel. And this is just sort of like, well, she needed her suit. So she needed a suit and to be full health just, just to uh, try to take on Kristen Wiig? I don't get it, but oof, man, Gal Gadot looks fine in that golden suit, let me tell you. Or how strong is this cheetah girl? How strong is Kristen Wiig now? Because, man, she was going heads up with Doomsday in Batman vs. Superman. Like, who, who, who the fuck is Cheetah versus Doomsday then? Like, Doomsday was like Kryptonian, like fight, facing Superman. You know, Kristen Wiig was just a dork like an hour ago. So the whole thing was to try to get the people to renounce their wish like all right you better renounce it but she electrocuted her but the cheetah girl still didn't die so maybe just see the cheetah in the, the sequels and everything the other guy renounces wish so I don't know maybe she's still sort of super strong but not dead. So to me, it might even be fair to say that nobody died, or I would say kill count total maybe one, because if you could consider Chris Pine, right, he was alive and he's not alive, but it's sort of like he was never alive to begin with because he died in the first movie, just to be resurrected, to be sort of vanished off again, but you weren't really alive alive. It was still a good movie and a good time, and I recommend it. I hope they find another way to bring back Chris Pine in the third one. So, all right. So, Kill Count maybe one. So, thanks, everybody. Follow me on everything, and I'll catch you dudes later. Later, dudes.